everyone, welcome back. It's May 10th, so it's time for another Hashtag Friday Reads. And if you don't know what Hashtag Friday Reads is, just read the description box down below and you'll find out all the information you need. So, what am I reading this weekend? I don't know yet, but I'm about to find out. I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of these TBR book jars everyone's been talking about on their book channels. It's where you get some kind of a container or a jar or something with a lid, without, whatever. And you can even decorate it uh, if you want. But what you do is you write all the books that you own that you haven't read yet, all your to-be-read books. You write out the titles on individual pieces of paper, you fold them up into tiny little pieces, and you throw them in that jar. And then that's what you'll be reading when you're looking for your next book to read. You randomly draw a title out of their end. You've got to commit yourself to reading that book. So um, I'm not going to do that for every single book I read, because there are certain like review titles or things that I, I want to read maybe uh coming up or that I need to push forward, but occasionally when I'm just looking for something or I don't have anything planned, I'm going to be doing this TBR jar. So I had to come up with some kind of container for all the books. And actually I realized I already had a container and I thought it was perfect. And here it is. It's my TARDIS cookie jar. <laughs> I don't use it for a cookie jar. But after creating that TARDIS tag where you, um, where I came up with the idea that you hijack the Doctor's TARDIS and take it on a joyride through fiction. I thought how perfect to put all my titles inside, and that's where I will be drawing my next book for, from. So, um, yeah, um, I'm going to open it up, and inside you'll see all the tiny little pieces of paper containing all the books I haven't read. And I don't know quite how many are in there, but it is quite a bit. So I'm just going to go and dig in here, and I have to commit myself to reading whatever book I pull out. So, I have one here. I'm going to close it. And we're off on a journey. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Yeah. Somehow. Whoa! -ho -ho. This is actually a middle grade book. It's Ulysses Moore, The Door to Time. It's by an Italian author by, I'll try not to slaughter this name, Pier Domenico Baccalario. You can kind of see the title. And I will go grab a copy. Be right back. So this is the book I've chosen, and that's, like I said, Ulysses Moore, The Door to Time. It's the first book in a series. I know of only two books out in the series so far. It's got a really neat kind of cover, kind of wraps around. And it's got lots of um, illustrations and things in the book. And I picked it up at a used bookstore. It just looked kind of interesting, and it's then it's been sitting there forever. So, yeah, this thing will make me uh, pick up the book and start to read. This is a description of the book. It says, The Door to Time. In a house on the coast of England, there is a door. It hides unimaginable mysteries, unavoidable danger, and unbelievable surprises. When 11-year-old twins Jason and Julia move into the old mansion with their family, the door is a secret, locked and hidden behind an old wardrobe. But Jason, Julia, and their friend Rick are about to discover what lies beneath it, behind it. Yes, behind it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, looking forward to reading that. So that's my middle grade book and my first drawing out of my TBR jar. So we'll see how this works, and maybe I'll dwindle down that pile slowly but surely. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have something good to read this weekend, and let me know down below. Bye-bye.